say, I'm not going to beat about the bush. Um, I'm interested in exploring what paradise means. And yesterday I found online uh, this um, book, you know, that you can read excerpts of, quite long excerpts, of a book that I've wanted for quite a while called The Mystery of Manna and by Dan McCur and it's all about his um, exploration that the use of psychedelics is very um, has been used throughout our history right so this I had it for the chapter called knowledge of good and evil because I'm very interested in interpretations of uh, that myth of the Garden of Eden because um, from what I've learned before, it's very much to do with um, psychedelic experience. Right, so I'm going to read you this part of this chapter from this book, right, and then I'll discuss it a little bit. Okay, um, to interpret the original meaning of the tale of Eden, I would emphasize several observations that the historian of religions, Mercia Eliad, made about the many myths belonging to different cultures that tell of a fall from a primordial paradise. Myths of a primordial fall typically, typically portray an initial period when all humanity enjoyed exceptional circumstances. Immortality, spontaneity, liberty, the ability to ascend to heaven and, and easy access to the gods friendship with the animals and knowledge of their language. The many variants that refer to an actual means of communication between heaven and earth maintain that it was easy to reach heaven by means of a tree, a vine or a ladder or by climbing a mountain. The fall resulted, resulted from a ritual sin or another mythical event and accomplish the sensation the cessation of the paradisic no, say that word um, paradisiacal state for humankind as a whole. So much for the stories. When we read, examine the symbolism and ideas of paradise that are found in living religious practices as dis as distinct from mythology we find that the circumstances that myths describe are not events of the fabulous past. Rather, the circumstances that all humanity enjoyed prior to the fall continue to be enjoyed during ecstatic experiences. Ecstatic experiences are thus equivalent to a return to the beginning, a reversion to the mythical days of a lost paradise. The myth and its cultic symbolism constitute, as it were, a theory of communication between humankind and the divine. The ecstatic who alone has an experience in conformance with the mythic scenario appreci appreciates the myth as the ideological infrastructure of ecstasy. Let me scroll it up. For the rest of the community, the myth may be less a theory of ecstasy than a belief concerning concrete events of the paradisical past, because the differences in their points of view, the paradisical era may have different meanings for ecstatics and for the rest of their communities. For ecstatics, the time of paradise is the living ecstatic moment. For others, paradise may be no more than the dead and distant past. It may indeed or additionally be deferred to the future post mortem. Right. So I you know, I find that really um very, really interesting, you know what I'm saying? And you know, if I can paraphrase what I think his meaning is that when you because you know, he argues that the the myth is all about psychedelic experience, right? And when, if you've experienced psychedelic experience, it is like you're suddenly in paradise. 
because like you say you're in nature you, say, you know it's hard to explain but people who've taken psych psychedelics will know it's like everything is new it's alive um, like paradise so it's very easy to wonder about this and what it means for our situation in this world uh, I mean I remember when I was 15 and I, I, mean, I didn't read I didn't know anything about psychedelics I didn't know anything about um, that they might have been used in the past and, and stuff like that I just knew the experience I was having you know and there was a term at that time and, and people probably, probably still use it is when the psychedelic experience which would last I mean I'd say LSD and it would last like about 8 hours and then after that you start coming down and it's called coming down right so it's like there's this sense of losing this experience you just had this amazing um, journey this trip you know what I mean and you're coming down to reality and things like that so this this calls into question what we mean by psychedelic experience what we mean by paradise what we mean by this reality we're in, we're in now you know what what does it mean like if say we, we take psychedelics now do we see this world as paradise you know with what we know you know because unlike say some tribe who, who might have taken it and then they're not interconnected with the rest of the world they're not know what's going on it's that you know we're within their vicinity you know because they didn't have TVs they didn't have the internet telephone you know things like that how are we supposed to experience understand paradise when we take psychedelics now yeah I mean I, I can tell you that depending on the set and setting of how you take them you know you can still experience paradise say so you take them in nature um, you're still going to experience that um, but if say you take them in you know that city or in some kind of like weird setting or something like weird scene it's really hard to talk about because um, it depends what you mean by paradise <laughs> um, means that when because we've lost the understanding so that even now you know youth youth adults you know whatever can take psychedelics and can take them in a kind of disrespectful way you know you can take them like they would play a video game or something like that you know for a bus right you know like if you were to say to them you're experiencing paradise you know and like say fuck it off you know <laughs> saying you're pretentious or something like that and um, they just see it as a giggle you know I've known people that say them psychedelics and they've seen, just seen it as a giggle you know they wouldn't see it as something say like indigenous people would experience it experience it as and that a lot of that has to do with the propaganda of the times you know like the the context of taking it in like modern culture which tends to denigrate denigrate nature um, but do you know I've lost track of, of time which is like kind of paradise isn't it and there's nothing worse than when you 
and our could edit it. There's nothing worse when you you've said stuff and and then you find out it's gone over the ten minute thing and then you just you know I tend to just like dump them. So I'd like to carry on with this, right, and just explore it some more because um, in a spontaneous spirit. <laughs>